At Saltash.net Community School, Chris Henderson is taking a Year 8 science class. Today, they're looking at how to collect and handle data from around the school using data loggers. What we're looking at today is how can we record and analyse accurate data in the outside world using sort of new technologies. Now, what readings do you think we could take in the ponds? Temperature. Temperature? pH. pH, brilliant. OK, I've got some pH probes and some temperature probes. And so remember to take a little picture as well with the camera of the area, and then you can put a picture in, you can save that, cut and paste it into your Excel, so you've actually got a picture of where you took the data for when we come back up here. Take at least five readings at each location. Give it time to adjust. And these ones we plug straight into Excel. So rather than recording it on a separate digital screen, all the data that you record goes straight into Excel for the students then to manipulate in a programme that they're much more familiar with. Right, have we all got several readings from here? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to make our way down to the livestock area. You know where it is? Guys, I'm getting Wait, guys. We've got to wait. Can we take the pH of the drinking water? Anyone want to measure the chicken? Right, he's got one. You can't measure the pH, it takes temperature. Have you guys had Richard? You can measure pH, light, and temperature. Today we measured the temperature of the different items in the livestock area in the sensory garden. Right, can we get back up to the classroom? We've all had a go at using the data loggers. We're all confident with those. The graphs, did all the Excel produce the graphs for you? Yeah, yeah they did. Yeah. What sort of graphs did they produce? Bar graphs. Bar, Bar charts. Graphs. Now, Multiple readings were taken in order for the students to gauge an average or allow for any anomalies. The first pond, what temperature was it? Tom? 22.1. Okay, yeah. Do you think I could accurately record 22.1 on this? No. no. Be a little bit hard, wouldn't it? The pH probe. How have we measured pH before? Josh? Indicator paper. Brilliant. The pH readings we got with this were like 7.94, 6.28. Could I get a reading like that with indicator paper? No. 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 Okay, it'd always be about 6 or 7. With these, you get the decimal places, which makes them much more accurate. I have enjoyed the, using the data loggers today, and it's better than using pen and paper because you can get more accurate readings. So if you're using the pH, if you did it by yourself, you'd only get a reading of, say, 7 or 8. Whereas if you do it with a computer, it uses it can get a very precise reading, like 7.361. We're using a lot more new technologies, computers in lessons, they're becoming a lot more familiar with a lot of these programmes and it's a lot more skills transferable to jobs in the business world and, and higher education. For teachers who might be wary about using ICT, uh, these data loggers we use are very easy to use. I think we also need to remember that we're always sort of encouraging the children to take risks. I think if we want them to do that, we have to do that ourselves and take a risk and try these new technologies ourselves. At St Mary's Primary School in Folkestone, teacher and ICT coordinator Colette Cotton is using a variety of data handling software with her Year 5 class. Your task is going to be to look at this raw data, which is a bit boring. You've got to make it meaningful for other people around the world to understand. The data that we've used today is part of the World Weather Watch project that is being hosted by Super Clubs Plus. And there's 200 schools worldwide that have actually registered as part of the Weather Watch project. And then each day, those schools then have the facility. One child then logs in the data that they have collected for the day. So we can see what the average rainfall was in Nigeria and compare it to what was happening in Estonia. But it was also the way for the children to start being able to see the relevance of using data in ICT and just really trying to embrace as much of the curriculum as possible but linking it through to a theme of the weather. The data loggers that we have, these came into school last year and they record sound, light and temperature. You have to press start and then it will record the data. 
Having collected the data outside, the children then come in, log on to Super Clubs. They will then input onto the survey what their weather findings for the day are and then that will be uploaded. Today's lesson, I was trying to show the children how they can use this actual raw data which has come in off a spreadsheet and how they can then make it more graphical and easier to understand. This one here, I'm going to put countries. So I'm going to choose one country, I'll put Denmark. So the two simple program we use to calculate involves the children being able to put in very basic data. They can then turn that into a graph. We also used a data program called To Investigate. So a hot day, getting warmer, very humid. That's really good. So you've got a different... Can you see how it's sorted it all there, then? Is that quite clear, do you think, Aidan, the way it's sorted it? Yeah, it's really clear. Another program we use is the Textees um, starting graph, which is very simple. And that was actually easier than the two simple for children to do their written comments afterwards. So if we did now write something that you found out, you could write something about the rainfall, you could write something about the clouds. I think the children, having done these programmes, they've now learnt the basic skills, so they will be able to think, oh, I could use this database for doing this, I could use that programme for doing this. And because also now in schools we do a lot more collaborative work and using our creative curriculum, um, the children, when they're working together in projects, will be able to think, oh, well, we could put a database in here, we could put the graphics from that in, we could do this, and it gives them a wider range of material that they can use in their everyday working and learning in school.